Beer, mint, what? ginger, prickly pear. I've never pear. heard of ginger. It throws me off thinking of Okay, you go. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's me, Thomas, and today here at Drinks and Drip, these two will be reviewing these three lemonades, and it's called Me and B, made by a young girl, and it's the three flavors are mint, ginger, and prickly pear. And cool. Dad here, he has some information about the backstory. So, we have Drinks and Drip. Obviously, drinks is 50% of our title, right? Yes. So, we thought we'd try another drink episode. Awesome. Uh, we're also trying to find some uh, black-owned businesses. And we actually found one started by a girl when she was not... She was actually younger than Colin. Can you believe that, Colin? That's crazy. No. She got stung by bees when she was very young. Her name's Michaela. And she decided to confront her fears and learned all about bees and became fascinated with them. Eventually found a recipe of her grandmother that was flaxseed lemonade. Now, I've had a lot of lemonades, but I've never heard of flaxseed lemonade. Well, anyway, she decided to add her own twist and add, instead of just straight sugar, uh, processed sugar, she was gonna add honey. And that's where it was. And then she actually, we'll send you a link to the clip, but she was on Shark Tank. Uh, isn't that what it's called? Yeah. It yeah, is. it's like uh, where you can go on and pitch your business. Mm -hmm. And she got $60,000 and she wasn't <laughs> even 10 years old. That's crazy. So now I think she's like 13, pretty close to Thomas's age. Who knows how much she's worth. We actually picked this up at the Whole Foods, like a major grocery store you can get. Kroger, Whole Foods, Fresh Market. It's crazy. Uh, so we got this really cool lemonade. We got three flavors. Thomas isn't the huge lemonade fan, so he is smart. So he would be like, I don't like any of them. That wouldn't be helpful. I don't want to be biased. And Colin and I are more of the lemonade uh, aficionados, yeah. if you will. <laughs> so we're going to try each of these. Um, and I'm going to step off to the right here and grab a cup. And actually, the quality of these bottles are really nice. It doesn't look like your everyday. Mm -mm. Now, one of the things we'll read you off, does that say real lemons? Uh, what does it yeah. say? Real made. lemons, uh, no corn syrup, made with love from Austin, Texas. Now, we certainly can't hold that against them if they're from Texas. Well, there, okay. Uh, but, you know, that's just a little joke there. Other people from Texas, <laughs> uh, they're bigger than everything. So, okay, here we go. Well, let's start with the uh, mint. <laughs> okay, shall we, Colin? Yeah. Me, myself. I've... Really known strawberry lemonade and regular lemonade. I've pink never lemonade. heard of pink lemonade. Same. What is and that's the thing is that pink is strawberry lemonade. I don't, even, I don't even know if it's a real fruit. I just think it's a color and they make it extra yeah. sour. Yeah. That's what's thing. A lot of lemonades that you get in store these days, it's basically just really sour sugar that you get and it has no real ingredients. Like this actually has um, honey, lemon juice, spearmint flavor. Um, I mean, like the real deal. Oh, it does have flaxseed in it. Look at that. It does have flaxseed. What do you think? Is it refreshing? Yes. Oh, you hold that thing. Yeah. yeah. Would you like I, one more? No. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, Colin. Now, it's really sour, isn't it? No. But it's not too sour? No. Now, what I noticed about this, now if you look at the calories on this, the sugar is much lower. So it's not as sweet as some of the cheaper lemonades. Have you noticed that, Colin? It's not, not as sweet. The only thing that strays me away from lemonade is the sourness. I don't like sour things. Not candy, not drinks, not anything. Well, like, if you had one of those tearjerker candies, would your head like explode? Yeah, I wouldn't even do it. You can't, you can't pay me to eat one of those. I don't know. What was it sour that I had the other day? What? That my face started puckering. Oh. It was that candy from the Turkish streets, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll show you that, that video of the Turkish that streets. Summer, but... Yeah, well, oh, yeah. so so what was your thoughts on the mint? I liked it, it was refreshing, but I don't like it overly I sweet. don't think I could really tell that it was mint. The mint isn't that strong, is it? Mm -mm. It's no. more of like just lemonade? An after flavor, I think. An after flavor? Okay. Well let's try um, ginger. Now, <laughs> these guys probably know, like I've had I, I like, like ginger gingers. drinks. Mm -hmm. Now ginger, if it's got much flavor, it's a little root you see in the grocery store. It's brown. Mm -hmm. We'll show a picture up here. 
but it's a great flavor used in almost every culture. A base in a lot of Asian foods is uh, garlic ginger. You can throw garlic ginger paste in anything, it'll be delicious. <laughs> now, ginger, from ginger ale, you've had ginger ale, right? No. Yes. You haven't. Now, ginger ale is, a, is a, now a soft drink, but when it was originally, it actually had real ginger root. It's almost a little oh. spicy, but not spicy, like, not spicy Cheeto spicy, but it, it's got a little tingle to it. So let me check. It's really satisfying. A little tingle to it. I like a little tingle. Yeah, you'll get a little tingle to you. I'm going to take a look at this one. Prickly pear. Now at the end, there's just a little bit of a perfume, like kind of a spice. Can you taste it at the end? Yeah. It's not very strong though, is it? He's still grasping this, so... It's not a strong ginger taste. If you don't like it, it's fine. Do you not really like the ginger? I don't really like it that much. Is it the gingery thing? I think so. Have you even had, have you ever made anything with like strong ginger flavor? Okay, so Colin has not tried ginger, so that's probably what he's not used to. I mean, definitely these lemonades are, they got some... Extra things to it. They're definitely new. And you have to kind of used to it. Now, this prickly pear... Looks that's, good. It looks good. I've never had prickly pear um, lemonade before, which is very unique. Just look at this. It looks like... If it I looks, were to like lemonade, I still... You would try this, that I would, Yeah. It may, well, no, in general, like, if I saw this, it would look pleasing to me. Right. The the marketing, the packaging is really nice. I, I think so. Okay. I don't even... I don't think I've ever had a prickly pear. Like Everyone's had mm. a prickly pear. I don't know if I can smell it because the ginger. They gotta take it in first. It takes a few seconds. Is that your tasting face? I think I might have might need another cup because I think this still has like the ginger. Okay, fair there. enough. If this was a fancy uh, wine tasting, we'd have separate cups. Did you know that in wine testing that I actually don't drink the wine? Did you know that? Real wine tasters? They spit it out. For a couple reasons. That's actually kind of weird. I didn't know But you that. don't want to drink it because you don't want anything to affect your senses. So if you start to get intoxicated, <laughs> it'll affect you. So they spit it out. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> You're just really drunk tasting all these. We love the wine. I don't really like it. Now... I find it very refreshing, but I think there's a moral to this story, and it's going to start with kids these days. <laughs> but that's Do I have not. To say it, it again? But, yeah. but go ahead. Okay, boomer. Well, now that's fair, but I'm actually a, I'm the old end of millennials. Colin has not had the opportunity to have like fresh ginger drinks, or prickly pear drinks, and so he's actually not used to the taste. Of the real stuff. Sure. He's used to lemonade, like Minute Maid lemonade, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be a snob about lemonade, but if your taste is used to the more manufactured stuff, that's what you're going to think tastes good. It's true. And ginger is really an acquired taste, if, especially for Americans. In other countries, it's like ginger all day. I mean, Jamaican ginger beer, which is ba it's not alcoholic, <laughs> it's basically like a high powered uh, ginger ale. Hmm. Uh, and I get it all the time. I'll get it sometime when you guys come over. But so, ginger beer. I think we we like the idea. It's cool, young girl. I like the flavor. I think Colin might grow to like it. Maybe we come back in like a year after we give you some ginger and prickly pear exp exposure. And I think even if it wasn't good, the fact that she got this far with just a lemonade stand that you'd think just normal, she got it this far. And I think that's really cool. That is really cool. That is really cool, Michaela. We're impressed. I give it a two thumbs up. Colin, we're working on him. We like he likes the idea. We're proud of you. Uh, definitely go pick this up at your local Whole Foods. Sure. Uh, we're a big fan. So until next time, what should we do? I don't. What should they do? Ooh, like. Oh, what about Colin? Doing? Subscribe. Oh, Dad. And ring that bell. You forgot comments. Comments. We need comments. We desperately need comments. It's one of our <laughs> things that we need bad. So comment and oh, tell gosh. us how you feel.
So until next time, we'll give you the peace out. Peace. Peace. peace.